So you're considering moving out to Fort Walton Beach here in Florida. And you're wondering, what do I need to know about this area? Well, in this video, we're gonna give you a quick rundown, some of the 15 key things that you need to know about this, and a little bit more about the area to help you when you're moving here. So stick around. <music> What's up everybody? This is Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group right here in the beautiful Destin Fort Walton Beach area. If this is your first time to our channel, we do tons and tons of videos about everything you need to about, know about this area. Now as a military veteran of uh, 14 years and now a military spouse, I've moved so many places. Uh, and every time I move somewhere, there's always such a lack of information on where to move to and what to anticipate. That's why we created this channel for you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button Click that little bell so you're notified every single time we got a new video coming out. Now, honestly, we get tons of phone calls, emails, and texts from people that want to know what it's like to eat, sleep, work, play in this area, and we absolutely love it. So if you are coming to this area, got some questions, need some help, give us a call. Text, email, heck, shoot us that little paper airplane. <laughs> Whatever you got to do, we got your back when moving here to our area. All right, let's get into Fort Walton Beach. First and foremost, where is it? Most of the people coming to Fort Walton Beach are thinking about Destin. They kind of have to travel through it when they land at VPS, which is the airport that's also part military base, which is also part military base. And it's, uh, it's a really nice area kind of in between. It's kind of that um, happy medium, if you will, where people decide where on the Emerald Coast that they want to move to. So where is it? Well, it's just uh, south of Niceville. It is just uh, west of Destin, if you want to look there. And it's just not quite out to Navarre. Just go ahead and look right, right back east and there it is. It's not in the ocean, I promise. All right, so what is this area known for? <laughs> it's known for the beautiful beaches there. We have uh, Okaloosa Island, where most people get access to the beach. And on that beach, there are six miles of untouched, undeveloped area that of course you can go walk if you want to. But because of the Air Force Base, nobody's gonna be building on that thing either. So they, you have this sort of feeling where you have this kind of lush sort of forest behind you, not so much condo city. You don't have the huge condos, there are some, but there's not that many there. And then you have this just pristine um, emerald color water with the white fine sand out there is just undeniably beautiful out there. So yes, it's one of the things that they're known for. Uh, obviously access to Eglin Air Force Base and Hurlburt Field. Uh, that's how I got to know this area. I didn't even know it existed uh, until I got stationed in this area a while ago. Um, and then uh, the community is amazing too. You have a great diverse community. Why? because you have a lot of people that have come here through the military or military support personnel, or you've um, come down here to vacation and people just love the area. So we get just a bunch of different people from all over the place. And it's just this melting pot of awesomeness. <laughs> Not only that, you also get a good mix of Southern hospitality that comes in from, you know, we're pretty much in lower Alabama where we're at <laughs> or Georgia. And then of course uh, the Floridisms of people uh, we get a good mix of that so so it's pretty awesome to be here and it's also known for a lot of the festivals billy bowlegs being one of them uh, that people come down to check out so what do you need to know about this area all right so let's go i got 15 that we're going to go through all right first if you're looking at google maps and you're trying to figure out where fort walton beach is what I would do is take those little ones that they point out as right, Ocean City, Okaloosa Island, Fort Walton Beach. We all call that Fort Walton Beach. <laughs> that's all called that. All right, so that's, that's the actual Fort Walton Beach area, okay? Number two, traffic. Unlike the other cities around here where you are on one highway and the only way to get around it is to go all the way around Eglin Air Force Base, like the entire base, they could take an extra 45 minutes to an hour to get around. Um, you actually have alternative routes. So if there's a 
car accident somewhere or something happens where it kind of blocks traffic or it's just really congested, you have alternate routes to get around, which is amazing because there's a lot of places like Destin that don't really have that, especially Navarre. Number three, housing here is kind of eclectic. Why? There was no zoning when this all happened. <laughs> they had an Air Force base here. It was cheap land. They put it out there. They had military housing that was mostly trailers, right? And then they just started building off of that and then started buying up that land. And because when they did, they started having these different housing developments, not real actual developments, but kind of onesies, twosies around here. And because of that, we've got a $1.7 million house sitting on the water on the bay across the street from a $400,000 house and six blocks from a trailer park. It is what it is. It's Fort Walton Beach, <laughs> but really, really nice. Okay. Our housing prices are pretty good. They're right in the middle of what you would anticipate in any market. It's kind of the happy medium uh, when we look at that. Uh, we have the cheapest areas in the surrounding area from Crestview, uh, the most expensive being out in Destin and Miramar Beach, and in the middle is kind of Fort Walton Beach. Uh, you can see the average single family home price around here to be 278000 or more, uh, depending upon what you're looking for. All right, uh, number five, schools. So we have a couple of uh, high schools and middle schools and things like that that you want to go to. The main thing that people look here are typically the high schools. Uh, you have Fort Walton Beach High School, which also services uh, for the public school for Destin, as well as a public school for Mary Esther. And uh, you also have Choctahatchee High School or Choctaw uh, that services uh, the northern part of Fort Walton Beach and Shalimar and that, and that area. Uh, out of the two, if you want to look at the rankings between the two, it's uh, Fort Walton Beach is actually ranked a little bit better than Choctaw. But if you read the reviews on like niche.com or you ask any of the locals, it's kind of a toss up. <laughs> all right. Number six, uh, all major shopping is close. That's great. You want to go to Sam's Club, you need to go to Walmart, you need to go to some boutique places. It's all right there, which is really nice. And you have alternative routes to get to where you need to go. Now, there are a lot of restaurants in Fort Walton Beach. There's a good amount in the downtown area, north, more towards Highway 98. But you also have them up in uh, the shopping center called Uptown Station. There's a plenty of those in there. Again, small boutique shops as well that we just mentioned before. But there's a lot of really good restaurants all throughout here. Uh, they've got everything from Italian to, there's tons of Thai, tons of Thai, just awesome. Uh, you've got um, Indian food. You've got all sorts of things that are actually really, really good all throughout the area. If you want some tips of something specific that you're looking for, leave it in the comments below. I'm happy to help. <laughs> All right. Again, there's lots of shops. You've got downtown, uptown station, Mary Esther Cutoff, even though part of it's Mary Esther. It's still right there with a lot of different shops, theaters, stuff like that. Movie theaters. Okay. All right. Number nine, there's, uh, there's really no bad areas in Fort Walton Beach. I've lived in a lot of areas, especially in my military career, and there's always some sort of um, quote unquote ghetto somewhere. And it's usually right outside the base, base gate. <laughs> Those of you that have been in the military know what I'm talking about. Um, but there's really not a really bad area around Fort Walton Beach. You're pretty safe where you go. Uh, depending upon what sort of environment that you want to live in, you may want to talk to a local real estate agent, something like that. And they'll be able to give you some one-on-one -on -one advice on where you necessarily want to go, but there's really nothing terribly, terribly bad. All right. Number 10, the area is diverse, filled with military, military support, veterans, and vacationers. And they all get along really, really well. Why? Because most of this, it's like being on vacation. When uh, our military people would come here on temporary duty, um, they loved coming here because they had the beach access and all the other vacationer activities and everything else that is out there. Uh, there's a lot of people that have come here, been stationed here, come back here, stayed here, myself included. And it's uh, it's just a great community because of that. But don't be surprised that you see a lot of pe uniform pe personnel driving around, going into shops, go out lunch, whatever. All right, next, um, number 11, rentals are in high demand. And it's always been that way. <laughs> 
<laughs> at least, at least a, from a decade ago. Uh, they were always in high demand because of a lot of the military people that are in here. And some of them just don't want that commitment. They have to get up and go in a year, all these different things that may want people want to rent. And because of that, they're in very high demand. So if you are moving down here, even if you're in the military, please make some due diligence to get that. If you are moving down here and you aren't going to rent, give yourself at least three months contact a real estate professional, have them guide you through this process so that you know and, and can be prepared for our, the entire thing moving forward. Contact us, we love you. All right, <laughs> number 11, uh, Highway 98 traffic. Well, it sucks. There's no better way to put that. Um, <laughs> they are fixing, this is 2022, so they are fixing the what they call Brooks Bridge that gets into Okaloosa Island, but that's just gonna be, when it's done, it's gonna be amazing, but I believe that's a five-year project. So uh, in the meantime, it's going to be a little rough getting back and forth. And it already was because we have a ton of people that are going to Highway 98 and to get in into Destin and all these different areas and uh, vacationers. That's how they get from one area to the other. Uh, it's, it's a mess. Um, it's only going to get worse. <laughs> uh, however, if you were staying in Fort Walton Beach, it's not so much of a problem. But just know, give yourself some extra time if you're going to be taking that uh, scenic Highway 98 or Highway 98 throughout the Fort, Fort Walton. Good news is, is that, the, again, there are some alternative routes to get around that traffic. Just not if you're trying to get onto the island. All right. Uh, 13. The community has a southern feel with a solid Floridian base, a.k.a. super fun, right? So... Uh, if you come from an area like I did in the Northeast and you were driving and somebody waved at you, you're like, did I know this person or what's up? You got a problem with me? <laughs> Here, this is totally normal. They just you can wave randomly at people. It's a Southern sort of thing that uh, I've adopted and actually really enjoy. So. Um, that's, uh, that's one thing to anticipate here. People are super friendly. Most of them are on vacation. So it just kind of gets into the community that vacation vibe. It's pretty awesome. All right, number 14, the weather is warm and humid most of the time. However, it does get cold, <laughs> okay? Uh, coming to, from December all the way into about March is kind of our cold season. And depending upon where you're coming from, if you're in the Dakotas or something like that, it seems like a summer breeze when it's 45 or 55 degrees out. Um, <laughs> for here, for us, it's cold. It's got the humidity that comes with it. Now, during the winter, humidity does go down a little bit, but it's still a humid cold, so it makes it colder, all right? But it does get cold, so do anticipate that if you're going to be a permanent resident down here or just come in the summertime, spring to fall, like everybody else. <laughs> all right, last but not least, if you are moving here, please take the time to chat with a local real estate agent to get the current state of the market. You want to determine whether it's going to be better for you to rent or it's going to be better for you to purchase. Over the long run, it's always going to be, if you can afford it, it's always better for you to purchase in, in, in this area only because it's always in high demand. Even if you had to rent it out, you're going to get somebody that's going to be in there and probably still paying you a premium. The values of this, because the military continues to move in, there's always pre people buying, there's always people selling. So it's a pretty consistent market as well. For the long-term play, whether you're using your VA benefit, if you're military or what have you, it's 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 a really great place. So please contact us, contact a, a agent if we're not the pick for you and, and make sure that you get the details on this so you don't miss out. I wish I would have when I first got here in 2011, uh, when I first arrived here, I wish I would have purchased as a young uh, staff sergeant in the Air Force. Uh, the market is only appreciated and I can't tell you how many tens of thousands of dollars that I lost out on because of that. So please learn vicariously from me. Talk to somebody to see if it's right for you. All right. Well, that's all that I do have for you for uh, moving to Fort Walton Beach, Florida and what you need to know. If you got any questions about what I mentioned here, want to add something positive, please keep it positive and put it in the comments below. And if you are moving here, you got some questions, need some help, heck, give us a call, text, email, find us on social media. Let us know that you found us on YouTube and we'll get you in touch with the right person to help you out in your specific situation. But again, I'm Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group here with the LPG Realty. We'll see you in our next video. Thank you.